I'm Chris. And I'm Gina. And, and we, we are Hollywood Hunter. guys I'm in the forest taking a little wilderness hike right now I'm trapped in a really thick brush of fir trees oh my goodness I'm trying to get out Whew. here we go a clearing oh my gosh I'm in my backyard how did that happen <laughs> just kidding everyone this was for Christopher's birthday party a bunch of trees set up for E.T. You guys will have to check out that video. But here is our theater with the ceiling on it. This is just temporarily set up. These braces will not be there. We have to put the coffin locks still on there. And I'm getting ready to paint it right now. But thought you guys would want to see our progress. It looks awesome. What do you guys think so far? Now obviously it's not lined up 100% because it was just a temporary so we could check it out. But man, it is going to be so awesome. I'm so ready to start working on this again. Alright, I started working on the ticket booth. And you can see I have it kind of drawn all out. Um, what happened was because I got ahead of myself on the ceiling I actually got all the trim and stuff done on the ceiling and that determined the size that the booth was gonna end up being and since I'm putting like decorative trim and crown molding and stuff I had to make my outer line that's the biggest that the ticket booth can possibly be and then you know think steps with the trim going inward what size the frame would need to be so that's kind of how I determined that we bought this table leg I'm gonna to try to rip it in half I took the little metal thing out but uh, that will go right there we also are playing around with making some kind of decorative rod uh, to go up and between the uh, table legs so I got some short ones for the top and then some taller ones for the bottom and then in between that what we're gonna do is we're trying to play with the idea of carving some uh, decorative rope or, or a rod uh, and yeah How is it moving? <laughs> it's Gina powered right now instead of being motor driven but uh, this black part that you see is just an old shelf that I made it worked out perfectly for what I was doing I screwed a little piece of wood here a little piece of wood on that end drilled a hole and then ran a screw through the center of this pole and then I used some blue masking tape some two inch masking tape and uh, um, put a tape against a piece of tape to kind of give me my my distance in between them all and then I'm using a saw and I'm grinder and I'm kind of playing around with this seeing if it's going to turn out or not so I don't know tell them you were using your teeth yeah I was using my teeth this is part B, right? <laughs> so I'm going to keep working I think this is going to hopefully turn out to look a little cooler than it does right now but uh so cool it's so cool okay so I got all my one by three uprights all cut and what I did is I ran them through the table saw at uh, 22 and a half degrees so that when I staple them all to my top and bottom pieces the angle will match and then I'll be able to put my little toggles in there and then lock them all together I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this all one piece I think we'll be able to manage that instead of trying to make it a bunch of different sections that we have to sit there and attach to it'll end up being a more rigid and uh, stronger section yes it's raining today so I'm not working out there on that thing <laughs> we didn't have a tarp big enough to cover it yeah well it'll be fine so I'm confined to under here and I just wanted to show you guys how far I am on the ticket booth here so I have the framing done for the front portion of the booth uh, and this this you can see where the windows are gonna be I've cut the plexiglass and I gave it to Gina it's some older plexiglass so it's gonna take her a little while to get the the paper off of it but I'm getting ready to frame the back portion that's gonna go behind it that's gonna have our little shelf areas on both sides so 
I can't skin this yet. I'm gonna basically put the plexiglass in first and then skin on with Luan on over it to kind of hold it in. I think it's gonna look a little bit cleaner. And then of course this front section is gonna have like a little hole that you can stick your hand in to get your tickets. So, and then the top we're gonna put some some crown molding up there, which crown molding is expensive. That stuff, it's not cheap. We were trying to pick out some cheap stuff, but uh, that's probably the most expensive piece on this thing. So, there it is. I'm gonna keep working. We bought these table legs that Gina picked out. She wants to decorate the front of the ticket booth with these things. So we bought three long ones and three short ones. And what I need to do is I need to cut them in half, which I've already done with these. First thing I need to do is take some vice grips, pull out these threaded inserts, mark my little halfway mark, and then I'm gonna run them through my table saw and cut them in half. You gotta walk like Bigfoot. Wait, you're going out of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I think he does it like this here. Here, come oh, film I gotta me. Have my legs back. No, no, no. No human being can bend their legs. No, no, no. Chris, <laughs> come here. Come here, you're doing it wrong. I gotta show you how to walk like Sasquatch. Okay. Come here. <laughs> this is this is how it goes. This is how it goes. Remember, remember? <laughs> he's like walking and then he's like, <laughs> he's like looking the whole time. No. Oh my gosh, you guys, the rain is getting to us.